So everyone, welcome. My name is Derek Hess. I'm the Associate Director of Housing and Dining. And uh, Des, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm Desiree Reason. I'm the Executive Director of Residence Life Housing and, and Dining. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. All right. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to go through a, a slide here on the room selection process. And then after I finish that up, we're going to have a question and answer session. So again, this is about um, the room selection process. And I'm sure you're all very, very excited to uh, begin that and begin your year uh, as Golden Bear. So I, I just want to first say welcome uh, to Kutztown University and welcome as a new Golden Bear. We're very excited uh, uh, that you're going to be with us. So let me share my screen and my PowerPoint. Okay, so the first slide here is just an overview of the different steps of the room selection process. The first step in the process is to complete your advanced registration deposit. Um, that is that $300 deposit to Kutztown University. And if you completed that by March 22nd, that makes you eligible for early deposit room selection which will take place starting on June 11th. After you complete the advanced registration deposit, you'll be able to go on My College Roomie and create a personal profile. So My College Roomie is where you answer some questions about yourself. For instance, when do you like to go to bed? Are you a neat person? Uh, do you have more of a messy room? Uh, what are your study habits like? What are your likes and dislikes? And when you answer those questions, you'll be able to see who your best matches are. Um, so it's kind of like a mixture of a, a Facebook and almost like a, 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 like a, a match.com, if you will, uh, but for roommates. Uh, if you already know who you want to room with, you don't have to uh, go by the percentage of course, uh, on there, the suggestion, you can just search for the person on My College Roomie, and if they've done the deposit already, you find them, uh, you send them a friend request, a roommate request, and that is who your roommate is going to be. So that's the second step in the process. It's open now, and that will close then on May 31st. So we're getting close to that time. And every single day, new students get on there. And so if, you, if you're the student or, you know, if your student is saying, I can't find anybody, get on there every day. And so your matches might change. Step three in the process we have completed, that is the special interest housing application. Now, part of that process, let's say you're a transfer student and you want to live in the transfer student housing, uh, that will be, be taking place on June 4th, and I'll be emailing those students next week. So the special interest housing application closed on May 10th. If you're a transfer student and you want to participate in the transfer housing selection, you don't have to do a special interest housing application. What I will do is I'll run a report that says who's a transfer student, and I'll be emailing you next week about your selection time. Step four in the process is to form those roommate groups. And again, uh, that closes on May 31st, so you wanna get on there if you haven't already. And then step five is just actually selecting your housing assignment. Special interest housing assignments, um, let's say you weren't, uh, let's say you did not select uh, transfer, but you selected one of the other special interest housing groups, for instance, honors, uh, maybe Freedom Place, those individuals, I will be auto assigning myself. I'll be going in because there really isn't much option there on where the individuals will be living. 
There are certain floors, so I will be auto assigning those individuals. The transfer students, they will be doing those selections themselves on June 4th. Early deposit room selection, if you did your deposit um, before March 22nd, you'll be selecting starting on June 11th at 9 a.m. And that goes until June 13th at 3 p.m. And the bulk of students will probably be selecting uh, with the incoming student room selection where you're matched with a, a roommate. And that starts on June 18th at 9 a.m. and goes to June 20th at 3 p.m. So let me go through some um, slides here. Here again is step one in the process, paying your ARD. Um, here's your My College Roomy. You can access it using your phone. You can also use it uh, on the desktop. It probably is a little easier on the desktop. That's um, from my experience. And again, you might not see many matches in the beginning, but as more and more people get on there uh, and more people pay their deposit, you'll see more matches. Um, another good hint for you on here is if you are a transfer student and you want to see who other transfer students are, on my college roomie, you would type in the search bar transfer, and it will find anybody that has written down transfer in their uh, profile. So another example is, let's say you wanted to really room with somebody that's a Philadelphia Eagles fan or a Philadelphia Phillies fan. If they wrote Eagles or Phillies in their profile and you searched for that, it would find them. So that's another good example. Maybe you're an art student or you really are interested in the arts and you type in arts, it'll find anybody who's written about being, you know, interested in the arts. So that's a, another good way of narrowing down your search. This is what it would look like for step four and for forming those roommate pairs. You'll see what that match score is. Uh, who your best match is. Uh, you can message them, add them as a friend. And then if you are set on that individual being your roommate, you would then send them a roommate request and they would have to confirm that. Once they do that, that will be your roommate. And when you do room selection and select your room, what will happen is you'll have the halls listed, uh, the different rooms in the hall, and then you, you, Click that the button to confirm it, and that will pull your roommate into your room with you. Here are the different housing assignment selection times. Uh, special interest housing, I auto assign those individuals except for transfer students. The transfer students will select on June 4th. Now, if you are a transfer student who wants to live in the transfer community, Make sure you're not matched with a freshman, for example. If you are, you're not going to be eligible to select at that time into the transfer community. Only transfer students will be able to live in the community. Early deposit room selection again is June 11th to June 13th. And then the bulk of students are probably in the incoming student room selection, which begins on June 18th at 9 a.m. And what will happen is you'll see the halls listed, you'll see the rooms listed uh, that are available, and then the student clicks confirm on the room number that they want in the hall that they want, and that will be your room assignment for the fall. Housing accommodations, if you do need housing accommodations, make sure you submit them to the DSO office, also known as Disability Services Office, by May 31st. So you're going to want to make sure to do that by May 31st if you have um, housing accommodation requests. Uh, these are some screenshots from our website. So I encourage you to look on our website. Here are the list of the traditional halls that we have. They're very similar um, in style. Here is an overhead view of a typical room. It's a, a double room. So if we use the verbiage double room, we're talking about that there's, you know, two students residing in the room, two beds, um, and you can see that layout there. If the students wish to move some things around, bunking beds, for example, they can do that. But that's 
really the traditional style here. Uh, and then down the hall would be the communal bathroom. If the student selects a roommate and let's say during the semester that roommate um, doesn't show up to school or they withdraw from the university, it's very critical that the student uh, that is there, that is remaining, uh, tries to find somebody to, to move into that room with them. Do not assume that that bed will remain vacant because at any time uh, another student can move into that space. So uh, a lot of times what happens is a student will assume that, hey, I'm going to have a single room to myself for the rest of the semester. That doesn't happen. So my suggestion is to be proactive, um, to if you have a, a, a friend that you want to room with, make sure to get them in there with you if for some reason your roommate uh, decides to uh, withdraw from the university. All right, before we do the question and answer, here are some more um, connection opportunities. So more what's up Wednesday schedule. So I'll leave this up and you can write it down or take a picture of it if you would like. Uh, on Wednesday, June 12th at 7 p.m., we'll be doing meal plan and dining. So I will be there with you. I'll give an overview of our dining facilities, the different meal plan options and pricing, and explain some terminology like flex. What's the difference between flex and bare bucks? What is fab and much more? So if you have questions about food and on-campus uh, um, dining facilities, that's going to be Wednesday, June 12th at 7 p.m. Then we have community expectations and policies. Let me see here. Let me move the little bar to see that. Um, as a new Golden Bear, it's important to know the policies that keep you and fellow residents safe. So our senior leadership will review basic policies, give advice about common mistakes new residents make, and review the supports and structure in place within our residential communities. That's Wednesday, July 17th at 7 p.m. And then we have on June 26th, setting up for success. Wondering what to bring to set up your room? Wondering what not to bring? What kind of staff support you'll have? We'll share our best tips on how to safely set up your space and how to thrive in the hall throughout the year. And then on July 24th, we will have the Welcome Home Golden Bear Move-In and Welcome Week. Your first days on campus are very exciting, informative, and memorable. We know it can be overwhelming, though. We're here to help. Knowledge is power, so we'll be telling you what move-in day looks like, what that first week will look like, and answer any questions about logistics, and review what Welcome Week will be. All right. Here's some good, um, whoops, clicked on. Whoop. Here are some good um, links. And if you have questions, obviously we'll be doing the question and answer. Uh, but let's say you have a question after this is over, you're going to want to email housing at kutztown.edu. Here's some other ways that you can connect with us Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. On the YouTube, I do um, I, I did go over room selection on there um, as well. And uh, this program is being recorded. So um, we will be putting a recording of this program up later on if you missed it. All right, Des, how are the questions? Okay, so the main thing is there's a lot of confusion between special interest housing uh, and the fact that if a student selected to live in one of our special interest housing groups as a incoming first year student, that they are auto assigned and they don't need to go through room selection or my college roomie. And they're also confusing that with transfer room selection. So if you can go over what it means to be in special interest housing, what it means to be, if you're a transfer student, to go through transfer housing, and what it means if you're not interested in special interest housing and you're not a transfer and you just want to go through regular room selection. That's what's blowing up in the chat. Okay. So let's say, let's start off with 
you're not interested in special interest housing. You're going to want to go on my college roomie, find a roommate. You find a roommate, you'll be selecting June 18th incoming student room selection at 9 a.m. Okay. Let's say you're interested in a special interest housing assignment. So you're an honors student. You're in the honors. Um, you've been accepted into um, um, the, the honors program. Um, you would have wanted to already if you wanted to be in the honor in, in honors um, in Rothamel Hall to go on my college roomie and have selected a, a roommate. So what the process is, once you do that application, um, we send those names over to the honors department. They confirm you're in the honors program. And then I go in and place you in Rothamel with your roommate that you selected on my college roomie. And it's the same way for the other um, special interest housing options. So, for instance, let's say you wanted to be in Freedom Place and did the application for Freedom Place, um, you would, uh, we send those names over to the advisor for Freedom Place, and if they have accepted you into Freedom Place, I'll place you in a Freedom Place. Um, the transfer housing, um, if you're a transfer student, you don't have to do the special interest housing application, I automatically uh, will send you um, an invite to room selection uh, if you wanted to be involved in tr the transfer community uh, to select on June 4th. But to be eligible for that, you can't be matched with any freshman. You have to only be matched with transfer students or not matched with anybody. Uh, what if an incoming student doesn't match with someone by May twenty May thirty first? Are they automatically assigned a roommate? If you want to talk about how we handle students that are not matched, yeah. So the week after June eighteenth, um, we would have a room selection with anybody that hasn't matched with anyone. So they would just go on and select a housing assignment, and then you would, whatever person is in that room would be your roommate. Any other questions that we can answer? Will room selection be on my college roomie or my KU? Uh, neither of those places. So it's on my KU housing. So um, we'll send a week before room selection, you would get information about where to go. So it's on my KU housing and that's where you'll be selecting your room. Uh, again, if your student went through, is, is interested in special interest housing, such, such as the science in special interest housing um, for physical sciences, they do not need to go through my college room and they will be auto assigned. So any student, um, it was difficult uh, to make that clear in the chat because there were so many questions between transfer room selection, regular room selection, and special interest housing room selection. So just to be clear, if your student wishes to live in a special interest housing, such as the physical science, special interest housing, they do not need to go through my college roomie. They will be auto assigned by Derek. Now, if they want, they can select their their roommate on there. Right. They should have done that by now. So um, yeah, the application for special interest housing, you know, has passed, but if you wanted to have a, a roommate, let's give an example of honors. If you're an honor student and you wanted to select your roommate, you know, you should have selected them on my college roomie. And then I place you in Rothamel and I also pull in your, your roommate with you. Um, the a question is, is, what is the ARD? Uh, ARD stands for Advanced Registration Deposit. It's a $300 that you pay um, to the deposit to indicate that you're coming to KU. Um, so that, I'm sorry, to talk, to talk, to use an acronym. Um, I arrived a little after the meeting. After we select a roommate, does one of the, of them choose a residence hall and where do they go? So basically is that only one of the people in the roommate pair has to actually do the room selection. So the two students that want to live together as a roommate 
only one of the students needs to log on uh, during their assigned uh, date and time for room selection. Um, all that will come up from Derek in an email, the step-by-step -step instructions, uh, and they can go in and select for the pair. But only one student of the roommate pair needs to uh, participate in room selection. Uh, if a transfer student has not yet paid the ARD but will tomorrow and wants to live in University Place, do they still create a profile on My College Roomie uh, after they pay the ARD, or will you assign them to a roommate in that building? Um, I would suggest that they go on My College Roomie and find somebody that, that is another transfer student that they want to live with. Um, but what will happen is if they want to live in the transfer community, they'll they uh will just select a um a specific housing assignment and the roommates will be other transfer students that select housing during room selection during that time um so after i find a roommate on my college roommate as an upcoming freshman i have to wait until june to select a room with my roommate um also, do me and my roomie both have to sign up for, for the room with our, our roomie or just one person? Just one person. I was accepted into the honors program yesterday. Would I still be placed into Rothermel? No, uh, you would have to message the honors uh, department and tell them that you want to be um, placed into honors housing, and then they would reach out to us. Can you pick your exact room number and see what floor it's on when you're selecting your room? Yes. Um, now, what'll any room that is, for instance, room one, two, three is first floor. Second floor is like 234. Third floor, 333. You know, that's that's how it works. But yes. And then the other one, um, our Board of Governors Scholars considered special interest housing. Yes. If you sign up for it, if you don't sign up to live in the Board of Governors community, um, you can still be a Board of Governors scholar, uh, but you have to sign up for special interest housing to live in the Board of Governors uh, community. Uh, which residence hall buildings are available for freshmen? Pull it up here. There you go. We have a uh, Beck Hall, Burks. Bonner, Dietrich, Johnson's offline right now, Lehigh, Rothamel, and Schuylkill. And all of those can be found on our webpage. Um, if you go on to the Housing and Residence Life webpage uh, and you click under Housing Information Residence Halls, there's links uh, to each of the residence halls. Uh, there's pictures of the halls, um, and you can see uh, what the room layout looks like. Uh, is it accurate that you are not eligible to create a My College profile until 10 days after you pay your ARD? Um, that's on average because what happens is you have to, to get on there, you need a KU email account. So the key thing is having a KU email uh, and then it being that KU email being sent to our housing software. Um, usually it takes about 10 days for that to happen. So usually it's about 10 days. Um, there are several questions about seeing University Place. If you look in the chat, I've placed the UP, the link to University Place a couple times. If you just click on that link, it'll take you right to our website. You can, you can click on the pictures of University Place. Uh, to confirm, I am an honors student, but haven't heard anything pertaining to the honors housing. I should email them to message you, the honors program. Correct. Yeah. Um, freshman move-in day is Thursday, August 22nd. Um, so you'll, you'll get an email with all the instructions for move-in day uh, in the middle of July. So all that information comes out. Uh, we make sure that we have the most accurate information uh, to date in terms of who's living where in the residence hall. So we wait till the middle of July to get all the, the instructions about move-in day. But move-in day is... Thursday, August 22nd. Uh, will I get a list of things that are and not allowed in our residence halls? Yes, uh, those are also posted on our webpage. Um, 
in Rothermel, uh, Rothermel Honors Housing, what floor would room 211 be on? I was assigned to that room, but unsure which floor it is on. Second floor. Any other questions? Hold on through. Oh, sorry, I missed a couple. Uh, do the transfer residence halls have their own bathrooms or is it a community bathroom thing? Yeah, they would have their own bathroom. Um, so for instance, the transfer community would be in either University Place, Dixon Hall, or some of the apartments in Golden Bear. So for example, in Dixon, uh, the Dixon suite, there's four people in a suite, two people in each bedroom, and then those four individuals would share a bathroom. Um, and, and so it, it's very similar in university place and in, um, golden bear, where you have two bathrooms, uh, in the university place suite and, and two in golden bear. So you would not be using, uh, the communal bathrooms. Um, how long does it find out to typically hear whether or not you're accepted the honors program? Unfortunately, neither one of us would have the ability uh, to answer that for you. Um, if you are concerned, uh, the best option would be to reach out to the Honors College um, and, and ask them. But we, Derek and I would not, uh, and I wouldn't want to guess and mislead you. I'm not really sure how long it takes uh, for them to get back to, to get back to students. Um, how will we find out if we have been accepted into student support services program? Um, again, uh, that you would want to reach out to that office directly uh, and see what their timeline is uh, for getting back to students in terms of uh, their admissions or acceptance rate. Um, unfortunately, Derek and I would not be in a position, and I wouldn't want to give you the, the, the wrong information. Uh, my daughter is in the honors program, but my daughter is going to be in Dixon, Dixon um, uh, due to health issues. Will she still be able to move in at the same time the honors students move in to connect with them? Yes, I, I would assume so. Yeah, uh, the honors program will reach out to us uh, with a list of students uh, who are in the honors program. Uh, most students, but not uh, from the honor, freshman honors students do live in Rothermel, but not all of them do for a variety of reasons. Uh, and they'll submit a list to us um, and let us know that they're coming early in regards to where the students live. Um, we, we would permit them um, to move in with the honors program. Uh, honors move-in day uh, is Wednesday, August 21st, uh, but the Honors College and the Honors Program uh, will reach out to you with more details in terms of time uh, in terms of, uh, for that day, but it is Wednesday, uh, August 21st. Uh, my son is in the Honors Special Housing Wow, these keep bouncing. Uh, community in Rothermel, and he's also a BOG scholar. When would he move in? Um, if he would most likely, the BOGs uh, typically do not move in early, uh, the Board of Governor Scholars. Uh, so he would want to move in on August 21st uh, with the Honors College. But both the BOG program as well as the Honors program will begin to communicate with the students via email. Uh, so it's important that the students do check their KU email uh, frequently because all the information that they need from the various offices as to what to do and when to do will be in their KU email. Uh, again, freshman move-in day is Thursday, August 22nd. Uh, all first-year students who are not part of a special group, uh, whether it be the honors program or band or an athletic group, all do move in on August 22nd. And all your information in terms of what time you can move in on August 22nd will, co will come to you in the mail. It'll be physically mailed to you in the middle of July. Uh, are there any double rooms that have their own bathrooms? If so, which residence halls? The suites in Dixon and University Place uh, are the only bat are the only rooms um, that have their own bathrooms, uh, and both those buildings, um, University Place, will hold transfers and freshman athletes, and Dixon is usually incumbent or upperclassmen students uh, with some freshman athletes uh, and for some first year students that have disability issues uh, and require to live in Dixon, but most of Dixon Hall is upperclassmen. Uh, does Dixon Hall only accept athletes, and do do we have to have four roommates to pick Dixon? Uh, it's not it's not all athletes. Um, if 
However, um, it's very limited spacing. So uh, when we do go through room selection, I, I doubt there will be any Dixon options um, if you're not a transfer student. Um, and when you select a roommate, you can only select one. Uh, so the other side of the room would be two other individuals. Um, one question was, are bed risers allowed? Bed risers are not allowed, but the beds that we have um, go about um, 42 inches off the floor. Um, so you can raise your bed all the way up. Um, my son is 6'2", and he can sit uh, crisscross applesauce style under a bed if it's fully up on its highest post on the bed frame. Uh, so you can, there's plenty of storage under the bed, but bed risers are not allowed because they're not safe. Um, do transfer students move in a different date and time than incoming first year students? No, we would encourage transfer students to come in on August 22nd uh, so they can take uh, advantage of the services uh, that are offered for incoming uh, new students, whether they be a first year student or, or a transfer. Um, how do we sign up to do a music ensemble or will we get an email and then information later on? Uh, I would imagine that the music department uh, would be reaching out to all those students uh, that are eligible for a music ensemble. Again, uh, everyone uh, should begin to check their KU email uh, regularly if you're not. Um, that's how, that's the university's official mode of communication. So all the offices, uh, residence life, um, financial aid, if you're part of band and a music ensemble, professors, uh, the honors program, all the offices use KU emails, the official mode of, of communication. Uh, so if you're not in the habit of checking that uh, KU email address uh, daily, uh, it would be a good habit to, to get into. Any other questions that we can answer? Uh, if a roommate is already selected, do we both have to put on the same housing selection down? So if you match in my college roomie, only one of the pair, paired students have to go through room selection. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give you another example. Let's say one of the individuals did the ARD deposit before March 22nd. That makes the pair, that makes that person eligible to select during the early deposit room time, and they'll pull in with them when they select their roommate. Um, to go back to the University Place question, I apologize. I forgot we took all the pictures of you of University Place down uh, because we did some um, reconfiguring of the rooms uh, and the pictures were no longer accurate. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll post some pictures and I'll ask the person who oversees our web page uh, to re to post those. I, I apologize. I forgot that we took them off. Um, University Place when it was originally built uh, were doubles. Uh, there was eight people to a suite. Uh, and then when enrollment um, dipped at KU, we put them all as singles. So then it was four people to a suite. And now that enrollment is back up, we went back and um, doubled the rooms again. So there's eight people to a suite. And the pictures that were on the website reflected a single room. And that's not accurate. They're doubles now. Um, how do I access the website to pick my housing? Uh, what will happen is I'll send an email the week before you select and you'll go on my KU housing page and um, there'll be a tab that says room selection. It, it'll pop up on there. Um, it's very easy. And then you'll see all the different options. It'll list the hall and then all the room numbers that are still available. And you just click a button and then you're, you confirm it and you're, you're good. Excuse me. Uh, the other question is, would there be an email that would be sent to verify that you are accepted into special interest housing? Yeah, if you wanted to send an email to housing at um, ku kutztown.edu, let me pull it up here. Housing at kutztown.edu. Um, we'll we'll check and see um, and can verify that. What we're doing now is um, we've we've gotten those applications, the special interest housing applications. And then we send that information who has applied 
to the advisors, um, and then they confirm that those students should be in those special uh, interest housing locations. Uh, which residence halls are closest to the rec center for first year students to choose? Dietrich? Yeah, I, I would say Dietrich. They're all really close. I mean, all the, the, the housing options are on the south side of campus, so it's not really spread out. Uh, they're all in the general same location. But Dietrich, yeah, would be the probably the closest one. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked about a mini fridge. Um, so mini fridges are allowed. Uh, students can bring their own uh, mini fridge. Um, however, if they want to bring a microwave, it needs to be part of the micro fridge uh, unit. Uh, and those need to be rented uh, through uh, the university. A student cannot buy their own micro fridge and bring it. It needs to come through the university. And I put the link uh, to the micro fridge rentals uh, in the chat. Uh, if I'm a BOG scholar and my roommate isn't, can we live in Dietrich together? Yes. If I want to be in Rothermel Hall, but the person who I'm rooming with is not in honors, are we still able to room in Rothermel Hall together? Yes, as long as there's still space there available. So definitely. Uh, what residence hall is close to the cr criminal justice classrooms? Rothermel Hall is the residence hall that's closest to all the classrooms. Um, our campus is literally divided in half to the north side and the south side. On the south side of campus are all the residence halls, the rec center, the dining hall. On the north side of campus are where most of the classroom buildings are, with the exception of Old Main. Um, so the, the Rothermel, uh, is the closest, but Schuylkill, Berks, and Lehigh are all relatively close, uh, to Main Street, that, which is which you cross to go over to the north side of campus where the majority of the classrooms are held. Um, there is not a community microwave. Uh, community microwaves are very unsanitary, um, so we, we don't have them anymore. We actually took them out, um, because they were, uh, the students did, did not clean them. Um, and uh, they were deemed uh, to be a health hazard. Uh, so the only microwaves that students can have are the ones that are part of the micro fridge unit. And again, um, I did place that micro fridge unit rental link on, and I just did it again in the chat. I'm trying to see if I missed any questions. Uh, if you have a question for later, you can always email us at housing at kutztown.edu. I just put it in the chat. Um, that's the easiest way to get a hold uh, of someone. Uh, someone checks that email daily, and then they will forward that email to the appropriate person in our office that can respond. Uh, and sometimes the person who's checking the email, um, the administrative assistant will answer. And if they cannot, they'll forward the email to the appropriate person working uh, up here in our office. Uh, all great questions. Anything else that we can that we can answer? Uh, are there elevators in the residence halls? Yes, all the residence halls, with the exception of Beck Hall does not have an elevator. Uh, University Place also does not have an elevator. Um, when University Place was built and Beck Hall was renovated, um, the ADA requirements were different back then. Uh, they didn't require an elevator. So those two buildings uh, do not have elevators. Um, the rest of the residence halls do have elevators. Um, I did put the link to Rothermel Hall uh, on there um, in the chat uh, again, so you can see Rothermel. Um, and when you, when Derek um, does room selection, uh, and you can pick, uh, there, there's a floor plan come up. So if a student wanted to pick a room in Rothermel or Beck, uh, are they able to see a floor plan where the room is located, or do they need to go on the? I honestly don't know. I forget. Or do they need to go on the website? So the question is, is there a way that a person? Um, can see a map of Rothermel in terms of where their room, their, each room is located when they when they do a room selection. Yeah, I mean, if you if you email housing at kutztown.edu, um, or you email me, let me type in my my email right right now. There we go. There's mine. So if you email me, I can look and find a floor plan and send it to you. Um, and if you have any questions about special interest housing, I know it can be confusing sometimes. Um, feel free to e email my, myself on there or housing at kutztown.edu. I can look to see if you did apply already to special interest housing. Um, 
and you know, let's say you're you're an honor student but just got in, uh, make sure to message honors, but you can also message me too, and I can look to see what's going on. I'm giving you the contact. So I'm going to ask for the contact information for honors. Just give me a second. I'll pull it up. Um, he was auto assigned to a room. They said honors could not pick. They are all auto assigned. So he already has his room number. Just needed to see where it is, where it is in the building. Uh, if you do click on that link to Rothermill, it will show you a layout of Rothermill Hall and there can send you a floor plan and you can see exactly uh, where the room is in relation to the bathroom, other rooms, uh, those type of things. The link that I sent to Rothermill is just basically going to give you a picture of the building. It will tell you, um, it will give you a CAD drawing of a layout of the room. Uh, it'll tell you the size of the room, uh, all that information if you click on that. If you rent the fridge, will it be delivered to your house? Uh, no, they actually will deliver it to your room. Uh, as long as you click on that link and adhere to the deadlines in terms of when you need to order your micro fridge, when you arrive on move in day, your micro fridge will be waiting for you. Um, I highly recommend that the two roommates have a conversation about the micro fridge because each room is only allowed to have my, one micro fridge. Uh, roommates often split the cost um, of the micro fridge, but we as a residence life office do not get involved at all uh, in the terms of a student ordering a micro fridge, uh, making an agreement with the roommate to split the cost of the micro fridge, or if there's a argument and the two roommates part ways we also don't get involved in figuring out who gets to keep the micro fridge if the two students share it uh, that would be all ne needed to be worked out uh, between the students sharing the space when and how do i make my room selection and are there any extra steps if my roommate is not in honors but we want to live in rothermel um if you're matched with a roommate on my college roomie um you'll select on June 18th at 9 a.m. Um, now, that's not, there's no guarantee that there will be spaces in Rothamel left, but if there are and you go on there, you can select. Um, if I was assigned to the second floor, Rothamel, does that mean there is no available rooms on the first floor? Yes. Um, any other questions? Okay, we'll hang out for a few more minutes. Um, uh, is there a roomie selection set for only a freshman year? No. Um, so what will happen, very similar um, thing will happen around March in the spring. So you go on My College Roomie again, um, select your roommates, and we'll have room selection uh, for the fall. And uh, the, the biggest difference will be that you'll have more options to select from. And so you can form groups of up to six individuals. Um, so you'll get on My College Roomie again and um, uh, be able to select roommates up to six people. Um, are there microwaves in the, in the dining hall? There is a microwave on the first floor of the dining hall. However, no outside food is permitted to be brought into the dining hall. Uh, so only the food um, in the dining hall uh, that is served there um, can be consumed in there. Um, and so no outside food is allowed to be brought in. Uh, so then for upperclassmen, is it the same benefits or the same procedures? So I guess in room selection, is it I mean, it's similar, but yet the upper class may get to pick before, earlier. Yeah, I mean, you'll be able to select um, in the springtime uh, before the freshman select, so you have more options. It's a, it's a similar, uh, it's similar in that we have special interest housing first, and then you have um, other individuals selecting after that. Um, are all honor students assigned to the same hall? 
if they sign up for special interest housing room selection. So, you know, we're not told what students are honors and who are not. So, you know, there might be an honor student that is accepted later on and they might have to select into another hall because all the all Rothamel is filled. Uh, I apologize. I must have missed this in the chat because there's so many questions. Uh, there are vending machines in all the residence halls. Uh, there's uh, they vary. How many varies between the halls? But there's at least one drink machine and one snack machine uh, in all of the residence halls, and they take cash or credit uh, in the in the halls. Like I said, depending on the size of the residence halls and the size of the lobby area will dictate how many vending machines, but there is at least one drink machine and one snack machine in, in each of the halls. Um, after we have a, a roomie uh, from my college roomie, is there anything else we need to do uh, to fill out for the roommate or slash rooms? So yes, they have to go through the room selection process. So after you pair up with a roommate in my college roomie, uh, you're, you'll check your email and Derek will send you the instructions that you'll need to follow in order for you to select a room uh, for you and your roommate. Um, what time is the dining hall open? Um, on the south side of campus, our main dining hall is open from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight. They serve food and then you can um, hang out there. Uh, there's a shuffleboard table, uh, pool table, and inside cornhole. Uh, so you can hang out in the dining hall to 1 a.m., but they stop serving food uh, at 12 uh, at midnight. And then on the north side of campus where the Cub Cafe is, uh, they are also open at 7 a.m., but they close at 6 p.m. Uh, if this was already asked, where do the randomly selected roommates based on our results from my college roomie? Sorry if this was already answered, but where are the randomly selected roommates based on our results from my college roomie? It's not based on the results. So what happens is after we have incoming student room selection with the pairs, the next week, all the rooms are open to select from all the, all the spaces that are open. So uh, the, the person that would be the roommate would be whoever has selected that space. What time did you say to select rooms on June 18th? And how do I know if I am already in special interest housing for the honors program? Um, 9 AM is June 18th. And my question would be, um, one, did you sign up for special interest housing? Did you do an application for honors? If you did, um, I placed all those individuals today. And if you go on my KU housing page, you'll be able to see your room assignment. Uh, and does that also apply for honors, just to make sure I, I completely understand? I don't know what. I think everything that you just said about the randomly selected room roommates based on the results, does that also apply for students who are in the honors program? Yeah, it, it applies to anybody that hasn't selected a roommate. I mean, you're you're going to get whoever selects the bed that's next to you. Do all the residence halls have mailboxes? They do. Uh, so students can serve, can receive both packages and paper mail right to their residence halls. Uh, so they will be assigned a mailbox. Some of our halls, uh, each student assign, assign their own mailbox and some of our residence halls, uh, each room. So roommate pair is assigned uh, one mailbox. It just depends on the, on the layout of the residence halls, but you can receive mail, both paper and packages, uh, right directly to your residence hall. Anything else we can answer? Uh, if I did the early deposit, I will get notification uh, to be able to select my hall and room assignments starting June 11th and my roommate will automatically be pulled into that question mark. Yep. Uh, so what'll happen is the week before Ju uh, June 11th, 
I'll send an email out to anybody that had uh, that is eligible that paid that uh, early deposit and tell them that uh, you're eligible to select on June 11th, starting at 9 a.m. And if you've matched with a roommate, when you select your room, that your roommate will be pulled in with you. Um, let's see. If honor special interest housing students were already paired together in my college roommate and are signed a room number today, is that now set and when and will not change? They will definitely be our room. We will to, we will definitely be assigned together in that space, essentially what they're asking. So if they were assigned a room in honors today, uh, would they, is that their permanent? Do they have to do anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, you would be, um, that's your permanent location if you were assigned that today, unless you're requesting to be moved out of that location and moved to Dietrich. Um, what if I'm a BOG scholar and I did not fill out the special interest housing form, but Maria de la Cruz uh, sent an email saying to email her by May 29th to try to be part of the BOG community. Can I still live in Dietrich? Yes. The only thing about that is Maria is works in our office and she is traveling to a conference uh, in Mexico, in New Mexico. So to be sure I would email Maria and I would also put Derek uh, Hess at uh, DE. I'll just write it. Yeah. Uh, on the email to make sure that in case Maria misses the email on her travels, that Derek also has it that you want to be in Dietrich as part of the BOG community. I have not done the honor special interest housing form. Am I still able to do so? And where do I find it? You would have to email us at housing or email myself. Um, it's probably faster just to email me. And then I would need to confirm that with the honors program that you are an honors student. So uh, email myself. We still have a few more minutes uh, that we can hang out if anybody has any other questions. Uh, are there certain regulations or items um, form room, especially for people coming for athletics. Um, if you're living uh, as an athlete, your coach has most likely reached out to Derek and uh, taking care of your room assignment. You'll either be in Dixon or University Place. Um, and then uh, Derek and your coach will communicate that information uh, to you. But athletics typically takes care of their room assignments for their teams. Um, are you required to be in special interest housing? No, you can just select to be it if that's something you're interested in. If there's a group um, that we offer that you're interested in, you can certainly sign up to, to participate in that group, but you're absolutely not required to be part of a special interest housing group. Uh, who would I email to be taken out of the special interest housing, Rothamel, if I change my mind? Uh, you'd email me. So let me pull that up again. Again, we have about seven more minutes. Um, if anyone has any questions, is Dietrich Hall for any particular special interest group? Um, the Board of Governor Scholars lives in Dietrich. Um, the freshman men's basketball team likes to live in Dietrich. They live in there, um, but mostly it's the Board of Governor Scholars. Uh, and there are other students. You don't have to be uh, part of the BOGs uh, to live there, but Board of Governor Scholars, um, the men's basketball team, freshmen, and the Ice hockey club team also lives uh, in Dietrich. Um, after you submit the My College Roomie, what is the usual time that you will get an email for further instructions? Uh, it depends on which room selection you're eligible for. So if you, for example, are eligible for the early deposit room selection, um, it would be the week before June 11th. Um, if you are an incoming student that has a roommate and you didn't select during early deposit room selection, you'll be getting uh, an email the week before June 18th. Let's see, uh, do you think there will still be rooms left in Burke's first floor um, 
on the regular decision room selection date, or would they all be chosen by the ED selectors in your experience over the years? I, I can't guarantee it. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Uh, and can we find on the KU page, or is there another website for the procedure? Hold on, I think I missed the. Um, oh, so the question that we asked originally, after you submit the My College Roomie, what is the usual time that you will get an email for further instruction? Uh, can we find that on the KU web KU page, or is there another website or procedure? It's on our website, a web page. I can send. It. I'll put the link in. So under frequently asked questions. If you go to the, I'm going to put the link in for the frequently asked questions. Um, if you go to the frequently asked questions uh, link page, uh, there is a link about room selection uh, and it has a link uh, to the instructions that Derek went over. Any other questions? Um, again, if you want to just clarify, Derek, uh, so should anyone in special interest housing still complete a My College Roomie application and will it just be assigned? At this point, let's say you did do a, uh, a special interest housing application. Um, you shouldn't do the My College Roomie thing because, um, you know, I'm going to place you in that that spot and we're, we're kind of past that point in time of selecting a roommate. We have about three more minutes. Um, again, uh, Derek, can you go back to your slide on uh, the upcoming, uh, we are normally on Wednesdays, uh, which is why it's called What's Up Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow at seven o'clock, uh, admissions is doing uh, another a uh, Zoom meeting, uh, financial aid, uh, and the student accounts office will be guests on that. Uh, so we moved what would normally be our What's Up Wednesday session to Tuesday, um, but normally our sessions will be held uh, on Wednesdays, uh, and those are the dates for the upcoming ones. Um, I might have missed it, but before the week of regular deposit room selection, do you get to see the available rooms so you can see which are which ones are left? Derek, you're, mu you're muted. You're muted again. There you go. You'll be able to select when you, I mean, you'll be able to see what's available at 9 a.m. on the day you select your housing. Um, the link for tomorrow's financial aid Zoom session should have been emailed to the student from admissions. Um, if you cannot find it, um, if you, uh, I have the link, but I can't give it to you because it, you, it, it's a link of a host. Um, I will also be uh, at that session, um, but you should go your student or if it's you, you should go into your KU email address admissions uh, would have emailed out uh, the invite uh, about the session uh, to your my KU email address. Um, if you cannot find the email, you can email me and I will reach out to admissions on your behalf uh, and I will send you. It's just that my link is a host link and wouldn't be very uh, useful to you. All right, well, that brings us to the end. Uh, just to confirm, tomorrow at 7. Uh, I'm sorry, I, it might be, I believe, is that 7? Hold on, let me check my calendar. Uh, it's on my calendar, just one second. Uh, oh, I apologize. Ours are all at 7. You are correct. Uh, theirs is at 6.30. So 6.30 tomorrow will be financial aid, student accounts, admissions, and myself representing housing. I do apologize. I just assumed it was at 7 uh, just because all of ours are at 7. So good catch. Uh, I, I appreciate you clarifying that for the group. Uh, so 6.30 tomorrow. Um, again, financial aid, admissions, uh, student accounts, which if you are familiar with Bursar, we just call our student accounts. But it's the billing people, the people who collect your money and send you a bill. Uh, will also be on there, and then myself, uh, in case there are any additional housing questions.
All right, well, that brings us to the end. Uh, we hope that we will see you at our future My College Remy sessions. Um, this is recorded and will be posted on our website. Um, the uh, PowerPoint presentation will also be on our website. Uh, and we are also doing um, Instagram Live uh, on Thursday. Uh, so you can check that out, the same session with different people. Uh, we'll be doing Instagram Live. Uh, but again, if you just want to, the, the session is recorded and will be posted on our website. Uh, hopefully you found it to be helpful. Um, you're our guinea pig group. You're the first one that we're doing uh, of um, this of, of the of this season. Uh, we'll get better as we go because we just become more automatic and used to the questions and more familiar with where everything is on the website. So hopefully we'll see you in the future or I'll see some of you tomorrow uh, during the admission session that is at 630 and not at seven. So I apologize. <laughs>